everybody so today i'm just going to do some bits and bobs in the studio i thought i'd bring you guys along with me so you can see what i get up to today and we'll just have a general arty day together i've got a few orders to wrap i've also got some new artwork to photograph and just some general bits and bobs admin stuff so i just thought you guys might like to join me i'm wearing my super super fluffy jumper today because it's really really cold it's really beautiful out today but it's just very very crisp air so I'm snuggled up in my jammy clothes and just have a bit of a more relaxing day in the studio I think today so I'll just show you just a little bit of what I've been working on recently and the current messy situation okay so the other night we had a little bit of a painting party on the floor this is a little stag painting that I made, which I thought was, I just thought it was quite cute being like a cropped version rather than the full animal. And it's got like a pink base behind it and also you can see like I've popped some gold in on the antlers just to give it like a bit of a shimmer. So I think I'm going to be putting that for sale soon in my Etsy shop so keep a look out there if that's what you are wanting. Also check out my Instagram because I'm going to be putting like a few different paintings on my Instagram channel. Oh, that's a bit messy. Then I also made these, which are both 16 by 16 inches and both in acrylic as well. Again, I've popped some gold on, which you can just see gives it a really nice shimmer. And the same for this one. I also like left in some like cool little drip marks because um, I thought it gave it quite a nice effect, like quite, like a snowy, watery, wintry effect, which I really liked. So they will probably also be going for sale very, very soon. So again, if you like them, keep looking out on my Instagram and my Etsy shop. And initially, this is where all the ideas sort of started from. So I'll just sift through them so you can see like what I've been working on. I think, oh yeah, this one is acrylic. Again, I've got the gold on there. As you can see, oh, the sunlight's coming out bright. So that's him. Then we've got this little guy. This one is going for sale, or when this video goes up, it might have actually already gone up for sale um, on Instagram at the Studio Market. So check that out if you'd like to purchase this little guy. This one is in oil, which you can kind of see from the texture a little bit. It's sort of a lot more dreamlike, I suppose, the texture. Then this little guy, which is one of my favourites, I think. This has the gold shimmery paint, once again. Let's see if you can tell that a bit better in the sunlight. And I also got a palette knife and um, scraped in these like marks around him just to give it a bit of more life, which I quite, just trying different effects really. And this one, which is a little fawn, which again, I used the palette knife effect here. Just really love this background color. It's like turquoise, it's beautiful. And then this little girl. So yeah, there are my sketches which they all sort of led me into like these two final pieces. I am going to be doing a lot more because I really, really enjoyed doing them and I feel like I've only just sort of started onto this new sort of theme. So I'm really excited to carry on with it. And so yeah, watch this space. As always, you can keep watching my Instagram and Facebook and keeping up to date with the different things that are on there, especially Instagram stories. I don't know whether you guys are into that or not, but I post like... Well, some, sometimes, like, if I'm having a night in the studio and I'm getting a lot of work done, I'll just be constantly uploading to Instagram stories, like, at that moment. So it's a really good way to, like, keep up to date with things that are happening pretty much live. And, um, I thought this would be a good moment, actually, to pop in some videos of some work that I did the other night. I think it was making these three final pieces that I just showed you. Um, so I'll put that in now and it might be quite interesting for you to watch. <laughs>
Okay, so right now I have to package up this painting. I just thought I'd show you like what it looks like before I show you actually wrapping it up because you know, you're probably more interested in the actual artwork than seeing it being wrapped up. So I thought I'd just quickly show you and talk to you about it. This is the painting that has just recently been bought. It's called Still and it's 20 by 20. And this has been done in acrylic. I'll just show you some of the brush strokes because I think that's what I like the most about this painting. And then I left in like a few like little drip marks, just a few just to like make the water sort of come to life a little bit. Also I should probably mention now um, because if you are interested in getting like a commission painting of I don't know, one similar that you've seen on my Etsy or Instagram or like in my YouTube videos or anything, just drop me an email at shop at katiejoblin.com and I will um, give you some more information on the commission process and pricing and things like that. So if you are interested in a commission painting, just hit me up on that email. So my fluffy jumper did the trick because I'm absolutely boiling hot, so I've got changed again. Don't judge me, because I'm still on my tracky bottoms. That's what happens when I'm at home. As soon as I get in, the tracky bottoms are on. So, you're just gonna have to live with that, guys, if you watch my vlogs. Sorry about that. A few of you might have some questions about what I was just doing um, and basically these are like little notes that I put in with every order um, like this one that I've just written for that painting that I've just packaged up um, so all I do is cut little pieces of card and then I made my own stamp so you know like especially on Etsy you can get your own stamps made with your like brand name and logo and stuff like that and they're about £50 and I just thought, you know what, at the time I thought I can't afford that so I'm going to try and make my own and this probably cost about £10 to make and time obviously but all I did, the top of this is just like a plastic lid so you can use like whatever, I've used Pringle lids in the past like even a lid to like the stamp you could use if you have an old stamp that you don't care about um, and then you can buy like these blocks of this green rubber. It doesn't look green that side just because it's got ink on now, but it was just like a block of green rubber. That's all it is. And what I did was I printed off my name. So like on the computer, I sorted out my logo or like on Word or whatever you want to use. But you just print that off. And then, you know, when you sort of like, so say this was just printed off my computer. <laughs> I would um, turn it over, get like a really dark pencil, maybe like a 5B or something, scribble all over the back and then put that on top of your green bit of rubber and then just draw over all the bits of text you can see and then that should give you basically a trace onto your green bit of rubber. And then you use these tools. Let me just see if I've got mine to show you. Okay, so I couldn't find my exact tool. This is half of the tool. <laughs> I'll put a picture in the video somewhere so you know what I mean. But you basically screw on these like little um, little metal carving tools. It's also what people use for lino cutting. And then I just found this extra bit of rubber, which was the stamp. So that is literally what I use to carve out of. It's just a bit of rubber. You could probably even use an actual like eraser to, to it'll probably do exactly the same thing but obviously you've got to get one big enough I mean that started out probably about that but I just got mine off eBay anyway and um, so yeah you get these and then basically you just carve into well you carve into the rubber but like around the text so I'm going to show you this really up close it looks quite messy because it's got like years of ink basically dried onto it so you might not be able to completely tell exactly but all I did was just go around all the lettering so everything that's left is what the ink picks up so you've got to be careful about that and it does help as you're doing it to sort of dab it on ink dab it on paper just to see some bits that maybe stick out dodgy and anything like that so I'll show you this now so that is what makes that when it's got ink on it 
And I just thought I'd just explain a little bit about that because, I mean, when you see that, it doesn't tip look like a typical stamp because it's homemade. So I thought they might be like, what the heck is that she's using? So I thought I'd just quickly explain that. And it's a really, really nice, cheap way to make lots of nice little note cards that you can send with all your Etsy orders. If you want, I could actually make a video exactly like step-by-step -step process of how to make your own stamp if that's something that you're interested in. I'm not sure like if the people who watch these videos are sellers on Etsy or interested in arts and crafts and things other than painting or so just let me know in the comment section if you would like me to make a video on um, a DIY stamp maker kind of thing like that. So I'm going to now carry on and I've still got to make a box for that big painting and then I've also got to wrap up some cards so might have a little quick break and a hot drink and maybe even a little snack. Okay, so I packaged up those orders and um, now I'm going to get some lunch because it's 2 o'clock and I'm so, so hungry because I didn't end up having any snacks. So I think I'm going to grab some soup for lunch because it's still icy, icy cold out there. I'm really actually disappointed because it was so nice and sunny earlier and now it's just gone really, really miserable. It looks like it's like heading towards the evening for only 2 o'clock, so... It's a shame because I fancied going on a, like a little bit of an autumn walk. I'm not sure what I'll do instead of that because I was going to like get some inspiration, do some sketches and stuff. So I might just have a look for some photos online and just sketch from some pictures online seeing as it's pretty gross out there. <laughs> um, so yeah, lunch time. in your socks It's getting cold now so basically what I need to do next is I'm speaking as part of a workshop about how to sell your art online and so I really need to do some planning for that. I've done like a little bit and I've done like the sort of like base core details of the workshop but basically I have to speak about this subject for like 45 minutes about selling art online and using social media and stuff like that to really sort of get your art brand out there. So I just want to write down all the information I'm planning on saying um, on my computer so that it's all just like, not necessarily scripted, but that I've got like the key talking points. So basically it's a live workshop, so you watch sort of me on camera live speaking for about 45 minutes and then there's a Q&A session at the end. And there are two other artists doing it before me as well. So there's lots of really cool information if you're an artist and you want to sell online. So what I'll do, I'll pop in the description box a link that you can check out this course if you're interested. I've come to know that you're headed north Every time the street lights turn on Making plans with these 20 nothing hands Lamenting on a day that you'll be gone And since it's colder and I find myself older so I've been writing for about an hour now. I'm just going to like quickly show you what I've been working on. I can't show you very in depth because obviously it's for the workshop. Um, but I can show you like a little bit of what I've been doing. So these are all my notes that I'm basically just transferring into this presentation. As I say, I'm going to be talking live on camera. But this is just going to be like sort of next to me hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Um, and so I'm just writing down all my sort of ideas to share with people and also they're going to be like little memos for me to like jog my memory about what I actually want to talk about. So I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to show you how I edit an Instagram photo. So this is exactly what it was taken like, I've not done anything to it yet. So I open it up in Photoshop and just have a quick look around for anything that looks a bit odd and I can see up here there's still some marks from the wall so I want to just take them out. I'm going to use the spot healing brush for now, just to see if that takes it out. I'm just going to use it on any bits that look a bit odd. You 
Okay, another bit I can notice is that the shadow is quite strong down here. So I'm just going to lighten that with the dodge tool. And I kind of just keep using the similar tools like that to just brighten any areas that I think need it. So the easel looks a bit too saturated for my liking and that's where the eye is drawn to. So I'm just going to drag it over there just to brighten that up a little bit. And then I might just desaturate it slightly with the sponge tool. So lastly I'm going to make a few adjustments to the brightness and contrast. You, I usually do this with most photo edits to be honest, I just up the brightness slightly, up the contrast a little bit and if it needs a, a little bit more then curves always works quite well because it does it all at a similar amount. So that looks a lot lot better so I'm just going to go ahead and save that. The rest of the editing I usually do in different apps. Right so there we are, I've got it loaded up in camera roll. So I'm just going to come out of that and then I use the app called VSCO. First thing I do is I crop it to a square. I always usually try and put the artwork just off centre as well because it just works better aesthetically. And then the filter that I use the most is called HB1. Now I don't add it to the maximum, it really really just distorts the image a little bit too much. And I've also found this new app recently called UNUM shows how your Instagram looks at the minute and then you can build on that for future posts. So all the ones with the little icon in, in the corner with the Instagram logo, they're the ones that are already on my Instagram. Now the rest I can sort of build up to really like sort of see how it's going to look when the new photo's on. And you can also press this down here and then it shifts it all along like it would on Instagram in real life. Just so you can really see how it all works together. So I'm just going to add in that photograph that we've just done and then you can just hold your finger on it and drag it to wherever you want. So these are my most recent posts so I, what I need to do is just shift those along to see what that would now look like amongst my Instagram feed. Hi everyone, so I finished tea and I'm really quite tired now after making tea as well so I think I'm going to leave it there today for the vlog and we're probably just going to chill out a little bit now this evening. Uh, I just want to really really thank you for watching this video and I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was like a little bit boring because I didn't actually end up like going out or anything. So next time I vlog I will definitely make it more of an interesting day. Um, so thank you so so much you guys for watching and it's really really nice of you to support me um, doing this YouTube thing. And uh, I hope you have a really really lovely day whatever you're doing and wherever you are. Night night!